Hi friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Kendall by Kylie Cosmetics collection. I have my box right here. I actually think they did a great job with the collection. It's like made for people who don't really put on a full face on makeup. You know, they're marketing um like they're marketing the kind of like the after the off-duty like after hours model lifestyle where like they don't really wear as much makeup. It's like very minimal, um, kind of like the natural dewy skin look. Um, and when I looked at this collection originally, it kind of reminded me of like a Glossier but like runway style, like fashion model runway style. I saw in Kendall's Instagram that they were donating a portion of all sales to the Marsha P. Johnson Institute, which is named after the first black transgender woman in the United States. And it's an organization that protects and defends the human rights of black transgender people. I know that the Kylie Cosmetics Instagram didn't really talk about it or even like Kylie herself didn't really mention anything beforehand. But I saw an Instagram post that Kendall posted and I'll leave it like I'll leave a screenshot right here with the caption. And they said that they said that they were going to be donating or at least Kendall said that they were going to be donating it. Um, and like she announced it the day that the collection went live. And it said that they were going to be donating so i thought that was pretty awesome of them i'm going to leave a link to the organization down below so make sure you guys go check it out so the collection contains eight items and the packaging is like a soft matte touch kind of feels like nars it comes with a palette for 42 dollars cream bronzer blush and highlight sticks for eight for 16 dollars each Chem, um, an all-over gloss for 18 dollars blotting balm 24 dollars lip blush kit which is $26 and a high gloss for $16. I picked up what I think were like the main three stars of the collection. So I picked up the palette, the high gloss, and the lip blush kit. Okay, so let's talk about the palette. So this is what it looks like. It's a neutral pastel color story. There are 15 shades, so 12 mattes and three shimmers. If you look closely, my palette actually came with two shades switched. Twice the ice and I'm telling mom. I messaged customer service and they said that they couldn't do anything because the palette wasn't damaged itself and that I could still use it. Okay, let's get in with the tutorial. I'm taking a cup of tea which is like a medium brown and I'm running that through my crease as my transition shade. Then I'm taking loyal which is a warm brown and doing the exact same thing I did with a cup of tea and just building it up. Taking I'm telling mom and putting that right above the crease to blend the two other colors together. Using some Fix Plus and a flat shader brush, this is the Morphe M124. I'm going in with the shade to the moon and back. I'm just putting this all over my lid, kind of cut creasing it, and I'm stopping when I get about three fourths of my lid. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of fallout, especially on one of my eyes, and that's because I didn't spray my brush with Fix Plus again when I went in on that eye. So I definitely recommend using Fix Plus or Setting Spray to apply these shimmers. Taking a cup of tea and loyal, I'm just putting this in my outer V. Now I'm taking Brunette's Do It Best and I'm focusing this on the outer V and lightly bringing it into my crease when I have less product on my brush. The mattes blended really, really nicely. Like, I don't have any complaints. Um, it's just like the shimmer, like to the moon and back that when just there was a lot of fallout so I'm assuming that the rest of the shimmers have a lot of fallout um there was also a lot of kickback I don't mind kickback I don't really care like I'll just blow it away like I don't really not a big problem but I know like some people care about that a lot so I thought I'd just mention that so I'm gonna finish up my face and then I do have some of the lippies to try so we'll get back into that
moisturizing my lips with the Glossier Mango Balm.com. I'm gonna take the Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coat Liner in Penny Lane. It's just like a dark brown with shimmer. I'm just gonna run that in my waterline because I do want to keep this look kind of monochromatic. I did this off camera, but I also highlighted my inner corner and my brow bone with twice the ice. Okay, so I finished off my face. I bronzed with the Kylie Tequila Tan Bronzer. I really like this bronzer. It's a nice like mid-tone bronze. It's perfect for bronzing and contouring. Like you can do a little bit of both. Um, then I used the another Kylie product. I used the Batty on, Batty on the Block blush. And it's described as like a mid-tone clean pink. I actually really, really do like this blush. It gives your cheeks like a nice flush. And it just doesn't make you look like a doll. Because I know like a lot of people stay away from like super bright pinks. Because they, they think it makes them look like dolls. But this makes you look so nice. So pretty. And then I took the Dose of Colors Desi X K Fuego Highlight. It's like that. Okay, so I have two lip products to share with you guys. I have the Kendall by Kylie Cosmetics Lip Blush and Lip Liner. And then I also have the High Gloss. So the lip blush and lip liner is called Sister Sister. And the high gloss is called Can I Borrow That? So we're going to start off with the lip blush kit. I've actually never tried her lip blushes before. I've had I have her velvet and her matte liquid lipsticks, and I really do enjoy those. I like the velvet formula just a little bit more than the matte formula. I feel like the matte formula is just a little bit too drying for me. I have it pulled up on my laptop here. So the lip blush is described as a ultra lightweight formula and provides a sheer wash of color, creamy on application, and dries down to a diffused matte powder finish. Um, soft focus powders make lips look smooth and even. It's non-drying and comfortable for all day wear and won't settle into lip lines. This is the lip liner. It's just like this really pretty like mid-tone mauve color. And this is the lip blush. I'm gonna take the lip liner. I actually I love Kylie lip liners. They're so good. They literally last all day and they don't like feather um, at the edges. Um, I use Candy K all the time. Like Candy K is one of my favorite all time lip liners. Like this is like my second one and I'm almost done it. I'm just gonna... Oh my gosh, do you see that? Kind of like clumped up at the top there. Probably wasn't like mixed well. Which is kind of weird because none of my other Kylie liquid lips do that. Let me just mix it up a little bit. Maybe it's been sitting in the tube for too, for too long. I don't know. Okay, like when it comes out of the the tube like it's fine like it's all good it's just like the top here that was like not mixed well it works anyways we're gonna put this on so we're gonna talk about the high gloss now this is what it looks like i think she looks absolutely stunning in this photo i am obsessed with so this is the high gloss in Can I Borrow That? I think it's super cute. I think the name is so cute. Um, it kind of fits like Kendall's brand as a model and like or like at least like what I picture being a model is like because you know girl is not a model. <laughs> um, like when models are like backstage and they're like doing like last minute touches and they're like oh can I borrow that? That's super cute. So it's just this like really pretty um, strawberry shade like that super sheer yeah super sheer looks super pretty i think it's perfect for like every day um yeah you just want to put something on your lips just have like a little tint of something i mean like no one's really gonna see it because we're wearing masks right now but you know it's just the thought that counts like you do a little quick selfie right before you go out <laughs> That is that 
that on. Kind of makes my lips look really juicy and really plump, which I love. It's a little bit sticky, but it's not like overly sticky. But yeah, that's that. So this is the finished makeup look. It's just this really nice kind of like everyday with a little pop of color, which I really, really like. Okay, so I'm going to share my overall thoughts about the collection itself. Um, I really enjoyed all of these. I really did. Um, as for the eyeshadow palette, the only thing that I didn't really like was the fallout um, from using like the, the lid shade, the To The Moon and Back color. Um, like I said before, just use Fix Plus or Setting Spray and the palette was pretty good. I think that if you already have colors like this, then I don't think it's worth it because you don't really, if you already have colors like this, you don't really need it there. You can probably just use the ones that you have, but personally, I didn't have anything like this. Perfect for every day. I love the color story. It's like neutral and you do get like a few pops of colors if you wanted to ever do like um like hair kenny kenny which is like the lime green you just put that like all over your eyes put some lashes on or like you can do runs in the family which is like the yellow and just put it in your inner corners do a wing liner pop some lash lashes on and it's like you're good to go and it looks like you spent a little more time than you actually did um it is 42 dollars, so it's 42 dollars us for 15 shades which is like 57 dollars canadian which i think is pretty good because in a normal anastasia palette it's 55 dollars for 14 shades and you do get an extra shade for like two dollars more which it's not bad okay so let's talk about the lip products i'm going to give my overall thoughts on the lip blush kit and the high gloss so starting off with the lip blush kit i actually really enjoyed the lip blush this is my first time trying it i've only tried the matte liquid lipstick formula and the velvet velvet liquid lipstick formula before and the, you know the matte ones aren't really my favorite they kind of dry out my lips a lot and yeah I just don't think they're like worth it but the velvet liquid, liquid lipstick formula I really do like so the lip blush kit feels like a hybrid between the matte liquid lipstick formula and the velvet liquid lipstick formula because it dries down to a matte but it doesn't dry out your lips so I can on camera it looks matte I'm wearing a gloss right now, you can't tell, but on in person it dried down matte, but it felt like super moisturizing and didn't feel like it was drying out my lips. Yeah, and I really do like the shade. It was like a mid-tone kind of mauve shade, which I really did like, and I think it would complement a lot of skin tone colors. And yeah, so I think I will pick up a couple more of the lip blush formula if they ever if Kylie ever does um release more shades in them. Because right now I think they only have four plus this one and the other four are like super pink and like strawberry toned if that makes sense so it's like not really like up my alley like I do like my nudes who doesn't love a good nude so let's talk about the high gloss the high gloss I really did like it was the same formula as her other high glosses it wasn't anything different like nothing surprised me about it I used it before really like it um I think this was just a little different because it was it's a sheer um color as opposed to her like opaque and um sparkly ones and like lip toppers okay so the lip products were the main thing that i really really liked about this collection the lip blush kit i tried for the first time i really liked the formula it was nice it wasn't drying um and i also really like the eye gloss it's a nice everyday type of color and so so i don't know if she's ever going to restock i don't think she is i think this is a limited edition um but i'm hoping she brings back like the the lip color shades because she's known to do that like she'll release it in a special collection like a birthday holiday whatever and then she'll bring it back like next um season as like a permanent shade so i'm hoping she does that because the sister sister lip blush kit and the high gloss i really 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 liked and it just looked really really pretty Okay, so that's it. That's my review on the Kendall by Kali Cosmetics collection. Let me know what you guys think of the collection down below in the comments. And if you picked up anything or if you want to, if you wanted to pick up anything, um, let me know what your thoughts are. And make sure you guys like and subscribe for more. I have a lot more videos coming on the way. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!